For years, auto body repair shops have used fiberglass for rust repair because it bonds so well to metal. So if you don't have a welder and you still want to do some body work, the method you're about to see may be the next best choice. The first step is to grind the area clean using a tool like this. This is a sander or a grinder with a fiber resin 36 grit disc on it. Or you can use a grinder like this or a sander like this also with a 36 grit fiber resin disc on it. Next, since we can't get to the back side, this is two layers, there's a layer here and a layer back here, we can take a nozzle like this and stick it in here and blow all of that dust and maybe old leaves and debris out of there so that when the water comes down here it has a way to drain out. We want it clean behind this. You can also use a sandblaster to get into the pits, or if you don't have a blaster, you can get it with a wire wheel on a drill. We'll just hit it with the blaster real quick. And with the wire wheel, sort of the same, you're just going to do that. Then. You're going to take a hammer, looks just like this guy right here, and just tap down the area. You want it lower than the original surface. So we're just going to tap it down to make sure that we get all the rust. We're going to have to grind up there a little bit more up here. And it's still good. Right here it's good. All this is still good. Right all around there it's good. Down here it's a little bit weak. And we're going to blow this clean.
have the area ground clean and knocked down a bit, we can begin to apply the fiberglass resin and cloth. Once you've mixed the resin according to the instructions and you've cut your pieces of fiberglass cloth, you can then begin to apply them. So we're just going to brush on a layer of the fiberglass resin. There's a nice layer on there. And I actually really like doing this. This is, I like doing it. I don't know why this stuff really sticks well. I mean, look at that. Just real nice there. And I'm going to go right over it. And this stuff's hard to fold over, so that's why I'm not folding it over the edge, but I'll put it right on. Now, they do make a different cloth. This is the woven. And then they have uh, just, I think it's called free strand or something like that. And we're just going to saturate that. And remember, this is lower than this. So after we get this done, we are going to grind it just a little bit. It's a rough it up so we can put some filler on it. And I'm going to put three layers of fiberglass cloth on it. That's our first layer. And I get a little bit bigger as I go. That's good there. Get those strands up there. And you just take your time and dabbing it works real good like that. I've heard of people using a roller, but I've never done that. And if you brush it in one direction, you can get it to move. And a good thing is that we blew that area clean back there behind that. So now it has, it's able to drain the salt water and debris will be able to drain. And you can even drill a hole back behind there to make sure that this fender drains real well. That's good for that. And we're going to do one more piece. That guy. I think I mixed up just enough. And like I said, again, this is low. This is low, a low area right now because we tapped it down. So we're just going to get this all nice and saturated and then we're going to let it harden overnight and we'll come back and grind it and fill it. After the fiberglass hardens, we can rough up the area with a smaller grinder and this has 36 grit on it, and that's a fiber resin disc. We're going to try to preserve as much of this fiberglass cloth as possible. So we're just going to grind it lightly and rough it up so that the filler sticks real well. Today, we're going to be using some fiberglass reinforced filler, and this happens to be called Bondo 
glass. And I'll list the products in the description. I'm just gonna, and then we'll we'll finish it up with regular filler. But this is supposed to be moisture resistant. And we'll just throw a layer of of this stuff on there. Just for some extra security. And it is a bit tougher to spread than regular filler, and it is a lot harder to sand than regular filler. But, I think it'll help out. And that's good. We'll leave that harden, come back, cheese grate it, and sand it, and if we have any low spots, we'll fill them in with regular filler. And before it gets too hard, we're going to just knock it down with a cheese grater blade or it's called a Stanley Sureform. And we'll just knock some of that off. And that should be good. We'll let that harden and then hit it with a smaller block with some 36 grit. I do have one little low spot here and here and maybe right in here I'll fill those with some regular filler sand them I'll be back to give it a coat of primer
I hope you enjoyed this video on an alternative to welding that can actually hold up well if the panel can drain and dry out. If you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.